Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this is the last topic of last unit for the subject cellular network. So dear students, today's topic is MAC protocol issues and radio resource scheduling. First we will talk about MAC protocol issues. We will be discussing two important uh, issues related to the MAC protocol. First is hidden station problem. What's, what does this mean? If a station is not detecting already transmitting station, then it is called hidden station problem. Consider a situation. I have shown three uh, stations. Station 1, Station 2 and Station 3. Station 1 is in the range of Station 2, which is shown by this old shift uh, graph. Station 3 is in the range of Station 1. That means Station 2 can communicate with Station 1 and vice versa. As well as Station 3 can communicate with Station 1, but Station 2 and Station 3 are not in the range. Suppose the transmission is going on from Station 2 to Station 1 and Station 3 wants to transmit the data to Station 1. In that case, this Station 3 will check whether any other station is already transmitting the uh, data or not. But since Station 2 is already transmitting and Station 2 is not in the range of Station 3, Station 3 will feel that this station 2 or any other station is not transmitting the data to station 1. So station 3 starts transmitting the data. In that case, the collision might occur. This is called hidden station problem because station 2 is hidden for station 3 as well as station 3 is hidden for station 2. So this is the hidden station problem. Next is exposed station problem. It is similar to the earlier case. In this case, a station stops transmission even if the channel is available, even if the channel is free. Consider this situation. Here we have shown four stations, station 1, 2 and 3. They are in same range. Then station 1 and 4, they are again in same range. That means station A is common for this part as well as for the station 4. Now suppose the transmission is going on between station 2 and station 3. That means let us assume that station 3 is transmitting data to station 2. This is going on in process. At the same time, suppose station 1 wants to send the data to station 4. This channel is free, it is available, but this station 1 is in the same range as that of station 2 and station 3. We can say technically like this, station 1 listens this transmission which is done, which is going on from station 3 to station 2 and this station 1 stops transmitting data or will not start transmitting data to station 4 even if the channel is free, channel is available. This is called exposed station problem. Next part is radio resource scheduling. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. What is radio resource scheduling and what are its criteria or what are the steps? So, I have already uploaded one video related to the scheduling techniques. Please do watch that video, uh, do watch that video because many things are common. So, what is the meaning of radio resource scheduling? As the name indicates, different radio resources are scheduled by using certain criteria, certain techniques. So, Radio resource scheduling means allocate and manage the radio resources based on different criteria like time, frequency and power to the different users. It is useful for efficient use of radio resources then in order to make maximum use of network capacity and it also used to improve the quality of service. Now what are the different steps? Step 1. Channel measurement. As the name indicates, periodically it measures periodically the channel quality to determine the available resources. Step 2. User quality of service and priority. Every time it is checked that what is the priority of a user and what is the expected quality of service. So it checks data rate latency. We have discussed this part. Latency is the delay between transmitted and received signal and packet loss rate of the user and then decide the scheduling. Step 3. 
यूज शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगोरिथम एज ए सेट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगोरिथम सो मेक यूज ऑफ शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगोरिथम सुटेबल शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगोरिथम दैट मे बी बेस्ड ऑन फेयरनेस एफिशियंसी एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस रिक्वायरमेंट्स स्टेप फोर allocate resources so based on the earlier steps allocate a particular resource to the particular user step 5 power control this is important step uh, power control is uh, required in order to make efficient use of the channel as well as it is useful to reduce down or to avoid the interference and step 6 always take a feedback from the uh, user about the quality of service and all such parameters and then make the modifications according to the requirement this stage is also called feedback and adaptation stage so these are the radio uh, this is about the radio resource scheduling and that's it for today's session and that's it for this series so thank you thanks a lot for watching this series